Hey guys, there's a stock on my watch list that has been making a little traction um, as of recently. It's, if you can see over to the right of this candlestick chart, it's moved up two of the last three weeks and it's near the estimated price that Yahoo analysts feel it's going to move up to. In any event, that stock is the Hershey Company. You know, I rank my stocks well. For those who are familiar, I break my stocks down into three tiers. Three star is the most fundamentally sound. Two star is beneath that. One star is the least fundamentally sound, but the least fundamentally sound on the watch list. Still fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list. Well, Hershey Company is a three star. It's the top rated on the watch list. It's currently at $201.18 a share, and Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $212.57 in the next 12 months. Now, that's not to say that that's how high it's going to move. That's how high Yahoo analysts estimate that it's going to move based on the factors that they consider when they're putting these things together. We know if we break it down by P-E ratio, we'll probably go a lot higher and when we get to the spreadsheet we'll probably do that but in any event Yahoo analysts estimate that it'll go up to $212.57 in the next 12 months now before we jump into the spreadsheet I want to let you know this stock came from my weekly series that I put out this week's stock winners I put that out every Friday, and you can go to the channel to check that if you want. And if you're a subscriber, you'll see when I drop them on the weekends. I also have a this month's option pick, where from the stocks that show up in this week's stock winners every week, I pick one to play an option on. Now, there is also a this week's stock winner or this week's option picks where I pick an option almost every week but for that series you'd have to go into my patreon account and my patreon you can see the link right there at Uncle Dwayne's watch list the home page for my YouTube channel You'll see the link for my Patreon. And for those subscribers, it's $25 a month to get access to this week's option picks. And for this month already, I already have one option pick, which is up to 40% in less than a month. And another one, which I just bought probably about three or four days ago, which is up around 20 something percent so far. So in any event, having said that, let's jump into and take a look at the spreadsheet for this stock. Okay, so now we're into the spreadsheet for the Hershey Company. Now, generally I do five years of history for these stocks. But in this case, rather than create a whole new spreadsheet with a five-year history, I just added 23 onto this one to make things shorter. So I actually have a six-year history for Hershey. So let's start. We know it's the Hershey Company. Ticker symbol is HSY. And we want to start with the earnings per share. I um, mean, that's the earnings um, divided by the 
number of shares outstanding. So, for 2018, it was $5.58. 2019, $5.46. 2020, $6.11. 2021, $7.11. 2022, seven dollars and ninety six cents and twenty twenty three nine dollars and six cents so we see that when we're looking at the earnings with the exception of 2019 it pretty much increased every year now for 2024 we have a projection of nine dollars and six cents which is the same as 2023. But with the exception of that, not counting 2019, the earnings pretty much increased every year. And we're going to see more about earnings when we jump down to the income statement. Let's look at the high and low prices for these years. In 2018, at the low price, this stock was at $79.69 a share. In 20, it, in, at the high price, it moved up to $100.83 a share. That was a 26.53% increase during the course of the year. Low consider well compared to the other years but we'll see the other years when we go further in 2019 at the low price this stock was at $94.81 higher than the previous year and the high price was at $149.22 that's a 57.39% increase during the course of the year in 2020 our COVID year it was a hundred and four dollars and six cents for the low price a hundred and fifty dollars and thirty one cents for the high price that's a forty four point forty five percent increase during the course of the year realize there's a lot of companies that really fell off with their earnings, with their high price and low price during 2020. But Hershey is a company that sells candies, the Hershey's Kisses and so many more. So during a year that a lot of businesses were closed, Things were slowing down. People were staying in the house. They were still gorging on candy. And the company managed to do better. In 2021, the low price was $137.81. High price, $187.43. That was a 36.01% increase during the course of the year in 2022 the low price was a hundred and eighty seven dollars and seventeen cents high price two hundred and thirty eight dollars and one cents that was an increase of twenty seven point sixteen percent over the course of the year and in 2023, low price $178.24, dropped a little. High price $271.83. That was a 52.51% increase over the course of the year. Now, in 2024 so far, the lowest price so far this year 
has been $184 higher than the previous year. But Yahoo analysts predict that the high price will be $212.57 a share. And if that turns out to be the case, not guaranteed that it will, but if it turns out to be the case, that will be an increase of 15.53% over the course of the year from low price to high price. But having said that, let's look at some PE ratios movement. 14 to 18 is 4. This is 10. 17 to 24 is 7. This is 7. 23 to 29 is 6. Let's be conservative and say 6. So, the lowest P I've seen so far is 21.14 and if I add 6 to that that gives me 27.14 times 9.14 Zero six equals two forty five point eighty eight. So if I base it on PE ratio alone, I could see this stock possibly moving up to two hundred and forty five dollars and eighty eight cents in the next twelve months. However, I would assume, I don't know for sure, but I would assume that Yahoo analysts take other factors into consideration, as well as news and other information that they know about things happening inside of the Hershey company, and that's why their projection takes it at $212.57 a share in the next 12 months. Having said that, let's, well, before we move on to the rest of this, we see that we already know the estimate of where it's going to move up to. We see that this company has an earnings report coming out, not right away, but April 25th. And earnings reports are something to be careful of because they're almost like going to a casino. You don't know what's going to happen. You can have a great day and make a lot of money or a horrible day and lose a lot of money. And that's what happens with an earnings report. Earnings report for companies is like a report card for children. It tells how the company did that last quarter. And if it comes out a good earnings report, the stock could really go up. And if it comes out a bad earnings report, the stock price can really go down. So just be aware there's a earnings report dropping on April 25th. Now let's take a look at this company's income statement. And we see that in 2018, in overall sales and revenue, this company made seven billion seven hundred and ninety one million sixty nine thousand. Now, in twenty nineteen, their sales and revenue increased 
seven billion nine hundred and eighty six million two hundred and fifty two thousand twenty twenty it increased more eight billion one hundred and forty nine million seven hundred and nineteen thousand in twenty twenty one eight billion nine hundred and seventy one million three hundred and thirty seven thousand in twenty twenty two ten billion four hundred and nineteen million two hundred and ninety thousand and in twenty twenty three eleven billion one hundred and sixty four million nine hundred and ninety thousand now their sales and revenue are increasing every year but of that sales and revenue let's see what percentage of that money they're keeping in profit and in 2018 they kept 1 billion 177 million 562,000 for a profit margin of 15.11%. And I would say that's pretty decent for a company. You have companies doing 5%, 10%. So they're doing pretty decent for a company. You have other companies that may be doing 20, 25%, even 30% particularly technology companies, but 15% profit margin is pretty decent. So in 2019, they kept or retained 1,149,692,000 in profit. That's a 14.40% profit margin dropped a little but not much in 2020 they kept or retained 1 billion 278 million 708,000 in profit that's 15.69 percent profit margin in 2021 they retained 1 billion 477 million 512,000 that's a 16.47% profit margin. In 2022, they kept 1,644,817,000. That's a 15.79% profit margin. And in 2023, they kept 1,861,787,000. That's a 16.68% profit margin. So their profit margin has been pretty decent. It's at 15% or slightly above, with the exception of 2019. Now, if we go down to 28 back to 2018 looking at their return on equity it's 83.68 percent but remember when the debt to equity is over 200 percent these return on equities can be skewed a little we're not seeing the actual figure. The figure can show up a little elevated. So we see in 2019, the debt to equity dropped from 447.37 to 366.50, and the return on equity dropped to 65.89. In 2020, the, re the debt to equity dropped to 308.06. The return on equity dropped to 57.14. In 2021, 
the return on equity dropped to 277.63 and I'm sorry the debt to equity and the return on equity dropped to 53.59 in 2022 the debt to equity dropped to 231.83 return on equity dropped to 49.85 in 2022 Finally, in 2023, the debt to equity drops to under a two two hundred percent. It's at one ninety point thirty eight percent, and the return on equity is forty five point forty two percent. So we could figure it's more of a realistic figure around there in that 45 or 40 percent range in any event seeing the heightened debt to equity can let me know that the debt for this company is not ideal the balance sheet is i would probably say okay um not the best balance sheet but we'd say it's okay, especially coming into 2023. If we go down to the balance sheet, one thing we can see right off bat is that in 2018, 2021, 2022, and 2023, the current liability actually slightly exceeded the current assets. We like to see the current assets above the current liability. But in this case, current liability exceeded the current asset for a few years, like four of the six. If we look at the total assets and the total liabilities, the total assets exceeded the total liabilities, which we like to see. Not significantly, but they exceeded. And it became by more as the years moved on, particularly into 2023. Now, this company did pay dividends. In 2018, they paid $562 million, $521,000 in dividends. 2019, they paid $610 million, $312,000 in dividends. In 2020, they paid $640,732,000 in dividends. 2021, they paid $685,987,000 in dividends. 2022, they paid $775,030,000 in dividends. And in 2023, they paid $889,071,000 in dividends. The other thing we see with this company, we know that a company can make money in three ways. The first way is the only way that we as investors like to see them making money. And that is by them making money by doing what they do for a living, such as in the case of Hershey. What do they do for a living? They sell candy. Well, the other way they could be making money is by just borrowing it outright from the banks. And the third way they can make money is by selling more and more shares of this stock. 
We don't want to see either of the last two. But in the case of the Hershey Company, they're not selling more and more shares of their stock, which we don't like. They're buying back more and more shares. So, in 2018, they bought 184,177,000 worth. In 2019, they bought 286,405,000 worth. In 2020, they bought 164,824,000 worth. In 2021, they bought 408,125,000 worth. In 2022, they bought 354,806,000 worth. And in 2023, they bought 238,898,000 worth. So that's what we like to see, a company buying back shares of their own stock. And they did it for the previous six years. Now, we're not going to go into changing current debt and long-term debt because we already covered that with the balance sheet. However, if we go down to the free cash flow, for companies that give a dividend, the one thing I like to see, first I want to see do they have free cash flow, money left over at the end of the year, Secondly, if they have free cash flow and they pay a dividend, since the dividend is from the free cash flow, do they have enough free cash flow to pay that dividend and still have money left over when everything is said and done? Or are they using some other means just to pay you that dividend, like loans or whatever? So in 2018, after paying their dividend, they had 758,630,000 left over. In 2019, 835,369,000 left over. 2020, 617,299,000. 2021, 901,020,000. 2022, 1,033,326,000. And in 2023, 663,010,000. So they definitely can afford to pay the dividend that they're paying you. Now, this company has a beta of 0.34 and the beta is how much it's moving compared to the overall market such as the s p and so forth and the regular market moves at a beta of one so if it's moving at a beta of more than one it's more volatile than the market if it's under one, it's less volatile than the market. Right now, Hershey is much less volatile than the market at a beta of 0.34. They most recently paid a dividend of $1.37 a share. There's a hundred and forty nine. Point thirty four million outstanding shares. And of those outstanding shares, 0.31%, meaning under 1%, is owned by insiders, which is those involved who work in or are involved with the company. And 80.89% 
are owned by large banks and institutions and so forth. The last dividend, the last ex-dividend date was February 16th, and they gave a dividend on March 15th. Now, the PEG ratio for this company is 4.35, and their dividend yield is 2.35. 78% and the current book value for this stock is $20.06. Now Miss Michelle Gross Buck is the chairman, president, and CEO of Hershey Company. She was appointed CEO in March of 2017. And you see that in here we covered 2018 through 2023. So that means for all the years that we covered, it was the same president and CEO, which is Michelle Grossbach. The Hershey Company is in the confectionery industry. And Mars is at the top of that list or industry. But Hershey is one of the largest companies on the list. So that's it for our analysis on the Hershey Company, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. And you guys have a great night. I'll speak to you in the next video.